Right, so what I'll do is I'll do a packing video, um, I think. Time is getting a bit short for me. I've been spending so much time with Lassie, not, not as one person suggested putting her on the back burner, but uh, I haven't really got time to, you know, go through everything individually. But I think the best thing to do, and what will probably work out better anyway, is to do a packing video now, and then when I get back, I'll hopefully have a bit more time, and I can go through things more individually, and I would have you been using them for two weeks. So that's my plan, or my thoughts on that subject. Uh, so I'll be taking the Mountain Oral Designs Profit Pack, uh, and I've just put in the Thermarest NeoAir uh, x light. I'll just pack the sleeping bag into the pack. Right, so I've just put the sleeping bag in there. I will take the Mountain Oil Designs quilt liner. Does that work quite well on Dartmoor? And even though the bag is rated to minus five, I'm quite a cold sleeper, so the extra degree or two that the quilt liner will give may very well be worth its uh, 80 odd grams of weight. And because I'm taking a lot of food, I better try and get this sleeping bag packed as compactly as possible. And obviously as the food goes down, then I won't need to pack the sleeping bag quite so tightly. And I just hope that is tight enough to we'll find out. In this pack here, this is sort of my nighttime spare clothing. So that's um a pair of leggings for night time, uh, a synthetic balaclava, Shh, I'm hoping that will be enough. In the winter I normally have a merino balaclava but that should be enough. Uh, liner socks, I'm taking a spare pair of socks, uh, these are sort of a light hiker, a smart wool light hiker. Uh, spare pair of uh, underpants and one Rab Miko long sleeved top. I'm going to wear a fleece, but obviously, if, if that's too warm, then it's easy enough to, you know, I can put this on, I can swap and change that, no problem. So that will go in. That stuff sack. So that will go in next. Hopefully. In this stuff sack, and again, really, until I'm actually up there, I'm not going to know what I'm going to need. But in here, I've got uh, light seal skin socks light gloves, I've got a slightly warmer pair of gloves, and liner gloves, and a bath. So that's my extremities pretty much covered there. Now because theoretically some of that I may actually need before I get going. I think it's going to be worthwhile putting some food in next, which I won't need. Actually, thinking about it, when I did the food video, I don't think I showed this, this bag here. And this has just got to, uh, chewy bars and things like that. Um, so 
So I'm just taking a few out that can go into the side pocket for the first day. All of these meals can go in. The cook pot that I'm taking, I was going to take the 900 ml pot, but because all these meals are boiling back, or just add water, well, like the only cooking I'm going to need to do is going to be boiling water. So I thought because I've got a smallish pack, it would be better off with a smaller pot. So I'm taking the Evernew Titanium 600 ml pot with the Zelf Starlight stove and the Sidewinder screen inside and everything that fits in there. I've got lighters, a couple of lighters elsewhere. So I'll put that in next. rest of the meals in. I'll leave one of the oat cakes out and I'll put the others in. I'll take a synthetic jacket with me. This is the uh, Arcteryx uh, Nuclei jacket. So I'll put that into this dry bag. Waterproof trousers. These are the Montane uh, Pertex Shield. Uh, over trousers, waterproof jacket, this is the Rab Myriad. A couple of things that I have forgotten which I'll pack in afterwards. Uh, glasses, they can go in the top pocket. Uh, repair kit, I'll uh, jiggle a couple of things inside for that. Inside here is my Acromera dropper set, which you've seen in uh, some videos before. I'm not expecting to have to treat water up there, but I think just to be on the safe side it's worth putting that in. The one thing I did forget to put in earlier on, which I'm going to do, is I'm going to take two power pack, so that's an Anker 13,000 and that's a Tecnet 7,000 milliamp hours power pack. And then my sort of electrical supply here, I've got uh, Two memory cards for the GoPro. I've got four memory cards for my camera, which I'll show in a minute. I'm going to take one spare battery for the camera. And then I'll take the two power packs. And then because the power packs take well, nearly all night to charge, I thought I ought to have two plugs and two adapters and this adapter, that end will do all of this but I need that one for the GoPro so thankfully that 
joins on there, so I can hook that up there. So I will just need to just jiggle things inside there a little bit because this really needs to go separately down the bottom. I had temporarily forgotten that. And the other thing that I might very well do actually, I put a, a stuff sack down the bottom. I'm going to change that for this dry bag to be on the safe side. And then I'm going to keep this Cuban fibre ditty bag spare. I'm just going to put that in there so that as the cards, memory cards get used, and how much filming I do I don't know, but as the cards get used I can put them in there so they don't get mixed up. That's my pillow, which I can add in in a minute. What I'll do, just so you see on space, even though I will, will be slightly repacking this now, I will just put this in loose and I've got a cotton bandana and a very lightweight towel. So I will take both of those and I'll probably drop those into a small stuff sack like that. First aid kit in this side pocket down here. That's waterproof mittens, which over mitts. That's waterproof over mitts, which will go over the gloves, and that's the rain kilt. So if it's just a light shower and I don't want to put the waterproofs on, I can put the kilt on if necessary. And it won't matter if I look at Charlie out in the middle of nowhere. I'm used, used to looking at Charlie anyway. Uh, a hat go in there. Obviously toilet paper and I just put in a few wet wipes. I'm going to take a one spare cup with me. I'm hoping you can see. So I'm going to take a cup. So I do at least have two items to drink out of or eat out, you know, one to eat out of and that to drink out of. That's that packed up and it takes up a little bit of room up here, but not too bad. And the lid will close over that quite nicely. And then all I've got left to go in now is the Acromira drops which will go in a side pocket. The food which will go into a side pocket, the, the pegs, they'll go into the top pocket, the MSR blizzard trowel goes in there, the spare Dyneema cord goes in there, My glasses will go up there. And then in the front section here, I'll take the Mountain Laura Designs Cuban Fiber Trail Star. And then I'll, I'll put that brown sheet in there. For water, I shall have one water bottle there, which obviously has no water in it at the moment. But there'll be water in there. This side I'll put the GoPro in for instant access to that. And I'll try and show that shortly. I'm going to take a 2 litre platypus, a 1 litre platypus, and that's going to be more than enough for night time and breakfast. And then because I'm only taking one water bottle, I do get very thirsty. So I'm going to take a 
a half litre platypus water bottle which I can fill up and that can go in the top, inside in the top, in a side pocket, you know, it's, it's so small and compact. Even with water in, you know, it's very, very small. So those will easily fit in this space here. And then all of the maps are in this waterproof bag here. And they will go down in there. That's where the air has got into it. But they'll fit in there. And I'm probably just going to grab another waterproof bag. Uh, so that the map, of the, the map of the day that I'm using can go into its own pack for convenience. My head torch will go in the top. I'll take this roll mat and hope it doesn't blow away and that will go attached to the front. I'm not taking a tripod because Chris Townsend uh, has a little tripod so if necessary I can borrow his compass. GPS of course will be on my phone so that will do for that. Uh, that's some sunscreen in there. I can buy more if I need more and that can go in there or in a side pocket and that's hand gel in there. And I will check my list to make sure but that I think is, is everything. I, I will just show you the camera. Right. I'm travelling up with a friend so I will be taking my pesky little wasp with me, although I won't be carrying it. So even though I won't be carrying it, my friend who's going to be driving across Scotland, I'm hoping to meet up at a couple of points, then I can, with any luck, get a couple of flights in... Oh God, I've got a train of bloody thought now. Eh? And my friend will be driving across Scotland, meeting me at the other end, and hopefully meeting me at a couple of points along the way. So, I'll be leaving this in the car, so if I get a chance to get a couple of uh, flights, then I'll get the old pesky wasp going, and we'll try for some aerial shots. Uh, because Lassie was feeling so abandoned and left out, I've uh, brought her in to uh, say hello to everybody. Right, I'll be taking my... Uh, carbon fibre pacer poles with the attachment for the GoPro where are you? there on the top because the GoPro at the moment is uh, on the old wasp so I need to take that off and then carry that with me so that's two pacer poles that I'll be taking clothing I'll be taking my black super feet inside uh, Innovate 245s and then the other clothing I've got a, a merino t-shirt so in a way I'm taking two base layers because this is a base layer and the Rav Miko is a base layer so I'm hoping that they'll work out well you know together or separately or whatever a warm fleece uh, beanie, socks, underwear, this is my fleece, um, my warm fleece, that's a Patagonia R1 fleece, uh, a wind shirt, that's my Arcteric Squamish wind shirt, and I'll probably almost certainly take the Paramo uh, trousers. And the camera that I'll take will be the the camera that I've been using for most of the you know videos over the last six months to a year or so, which is the Sony NEX6 with the dedicated mic that attaches to the top that. 
and I'll just take just take that with the GoPro. I won't take two cameras, it's just adding extra weight. Hopefully they won't fail. When I did the crossing the um, watershed with Chris, I took the NEX7, which is what I'm filming this on now. But it's uh, it's just adding excess weight, and I'm just hoping that you know this will be plenty for two weeks. I really want to keep the weight to an absolute minimum. The approximate weight, I'll put a list up, but the approximate weight of everything that you see, including what I'm wearing, shoes, poles, camera, GoPro, you know, the, the weight of everything that I'll be carrying on my person will be around about 10 kilograms. So then add in the weight of food and fuel. The only other thing I haven't put in uh, yet is the the methylated spirit which I need to I need to add that in um, you know later on once I've sorted that out uh, so the weight of that isn't included but certainly the weight of, of, of everything that's material is 10 kilograms clothing coats as I say absolutely everything which is very good she knows to leave my shoes alone she's got her own She's got her own toy, she knows what's hers. She's got loads and loads of toy things that she can play with. I think, I think I've covered everything. If I think of anything, then I'll add it in later on. I might just put in the surgical uh, gloves as well. They don't weigh anything. And that would only be for uh, packing the tent away in the morning, or the tarp really. If it's really wet, save so, so my gloves getting soaked. But if I don't see or speak to you again, then don't forget to buy Mountain Laurel Designs. And uh, <laughs> got to drop that in. And of course, I'll look forward to you know doing the video as I cross. Hopefully, there'll be time. And you know, I look forward to receiving the comments. Well, most of the comments. Um, on this video and others with you too. Godzilla against King Kong over here. Yeah, so I'll see you on the on the other side hopefully. Thanks for watching and uh, bye.